Okay, on your way home from school and get me some salad vegetables? Okay. I don't have anything but this $5 bill. Oh, that's all right. Well, I'm sure I can remember. Oh, Mother, guess what? Today, Drin and I are going to do our dance for the assembly. I'm so excited. Oh, you don't know, we've just practiced so much, and it's got to be perfect. Oh, I'm sure it will be. Oh, I hope so. Oh, I'm going to miss my bus. Bye-bye. Bye. Good luck. You girls have done the right thing in reporting this immediately. It's always much easier for us to pursue a theft before whoever is involved has had time to cover up any traces of the act. I'll see what I can discover. I can't give any real assurance that we'll be able to return your money, but we'll try. I'll see if anyone was seen in or near the locker room during the assembly. That's the first place to start. I understand your feeling in this, Penny, but I'm sure you can see the wisdom in taking a few extra moments to lock a lock or close a purse or take whatever precaution is necessary to protect private or valuable property. The temptation of unguarded valuables, especially money, is sometimes too great for some people to withstand. To that extent, leaving the money as you did was an invitation to the theft for someone. Well, I'll let you know if I can return the money. I'll be real happy to discuss this with your parents if they would like to call. So you went to the locker room during the assembly and found the money. Mm -hmm. But it was my understanding that you didn't know that anyone had left anything there. That it was just by chance that you found the open locker and found the money. Yes. And that was unfortunate, both for you and for the girl to whom the money belonged. Well, we've talked about your thinking, and it would seem that we've uncovered some of the reason 
for your being involved in a situation like this. Even so, I'm sure that you agree that rules and regulations must apply in the same way to everyone, no matter what the problem or the background of the individual. Our country was founded on a deep respect for the property of others. Our homes, our schools, our society is based on this idea. Other citizens, students in this case, have a right to expect that their private property will be respected, will not be taken away from them or dishonored in any way by any member of their group. At the same time, each student is obligated to respect the rights and property of others. If this mutual respect breaks down, as it has here, fears and suspicion rise up. For all the individuals involved, there is a threatening because they see that concern for material goods has superseded concern for human rights. Within a student body, incidents of this kind can tear away at the trust and respect that is essential to effective group functioning. That concept we call school spirit. It's strongest not when a school wins a game or comes in first, but when members of the student body are related within the group in such a way that mutual admiration and respect are evident in all that they do as individuals and as members of the student body. Now the incident here is not a large one and I think we have it pretty well under control. But this is a symbol of what it can mean if even one person allows his good judgment to be overruled by a personal whim or to be clouded by a selfish desire.